my name is Jaya, and I'm from Christina Groschinger Lab at Penn State. And today, I'm going to talk about the poster that you know, for the study integrating plant genetics and bee foraging behavior to understand the coevolution of plant and pollinator interactions. And it is a part of a, uh, our HFSP grant named Friends with Benefits to understand the mutualism in plant and pollinator interactions. It is an interdisciplinary project uh, among three universities. One is ours, and uh, it integrates plant genetics and pollinator ecology along with computer vision technologies to understand mutualism in plant and pollinators. So, Yeah, the green button. Yes. So, yeah. So as we know, like plants have different floral traits, uh, and bees have evolved to ha have preferences to specific floral traits of the plants. For example, flower size, flower number, or the uh, or the nutrition that a flower can provide. For example, proteins or the lipids in the pollen. But what we don't know is that like how these floral traits are attracting the long range or short range behavior of the pollinators and hope uh, for but fortunately we have uh, our collaborators at the sweden have developed a capsula plant based system where we have the capsula grandiflora which is an outcrosser which is a pollinator dependent uh, plant and from there sorry from there, uh, another species called Capsula rubella has been evolved with changing its floral traits. So what they have done is that, so by uh, crossing these two pollinator-dependent and self-fertilizing species, they have developed a, a series of recombinant inbred lines. And by using these recombinant inbred lines with specific floral traits, we are, a plan we are uh, trying to understand how these floral traits are attracting different pollinators. So under different contexts, what uh, we have uh, done a series of experiments where we used indoor arena experiments, our outdoor cages, and we released like several different species of, for example, the Osmia conifrons, Megacalyrogen data, which are solitary bees, and the social bees, that is Apis mellifera, and we um, try to understand these foraging behaviors. And this is just the glimpse of the results that we can see that so, so only few, some of these species, for example, the Apis mellifera have been, uh, has been in, attracted based on the flower number, but Megachile has been attracted based on the nutritional lipids, so only Megachile, which is a leaf-cutting bee. So, and we can see more details in our poster about these results and overall how we are integrating the computer vision technologies to understand these, uh, these interactions. So, if, hopefully, if it doesn't change, my poster number is 42, and please visit me. <laughs> yes. Thank you.